your principle, which kind of reflects poorly on me as well, when you rise to the level of your incompetence. So, congratulations. Well, you know, I ran for judge so many times that people thought I was the incumbent. And uh, some years, I went so far even as to just cut the bottom of the sign-off and, and just said, vote for Nick Del Vecchio. And I always looked upon it as cheap advertising. You're Nick Del Vecchio? I thought you were Bill Henderson. <laughs> no. Oh, um, I'm sorry. He's a copycat. I came up with the initial idea, but then Mr. Henderson took it to its ultimate conclusion. But he hasn't won yet. That's the difference. <laughs> Nick trained hard until he had the eye of the tiger and reached the top. In 2000, N. Anthony Del Vecchio was elected to the 8th Judicial District Court, proving once again that the heart of a champion cannot be stopped. When lawyers compete, you win. Reduce my fee, $200 an hour, and two free phone calls each week for free. I will charge you $1,500, a flat fee, and I'll even massage your feet at trial. Yeah. <laughs> I charge four fifty an hour, but if you hire me and pay your first bill on time, your kids get a free Game Boy. When lawyers compete, you win. When lawyers compete, you win. It's better when attorneys compete for your business. As my staff may have explained to you this morning, our retainer is $10,000 that you must pay, and which, according to my calculation, should get you through this initial interview. I'll represent you for $2,500. When lawyers compete, you win. $10,000, that's, that's a lot of money. Look, for $300, i will represent you for the rest of your life, the rest of my life, whichever comes first. Or do you? When lawyers compete, you win. All right, I have the plaintiff in a rear end auto accident. The defendant is an MD, net worth $4.5 million, one prior reckless driving. The plaintiff has $6,000 in med, it's all chiropractic and prescription drugs. What do I hear? What do I hear? 33? 33? Well, the 33 and a third percent take the first step. We're well, here, uh, 25. Well, we got 25. Well, 25 well, over here. Hey. Hey. Well, Do I hear 22? Well, Do I got 22? Do I hear 22 anywhere? Well, 31 and a half. 31 and a half. I think of the struggles of my, my family and friends in the court system. I'll do that case for 22 percent, uh, unless it goes to trial. When lawyers compete, you win. I got it. Any, any other bids? Anybody? Bid? I'll do it for ten percent. Or do you? Now, you've all heard of the 8th Judicial District Court rules. What we want you to hear now are the 8th Judicial Court rules, the Family Court Division, nursery rhymes. Old Judge Jones is a merry old soul. A merry old soul is he. With a big gulp in hand, he rules family court land. Until lunchtime, you see, he will flee. Hickory dickory dock. Judge Hardcastle's rulings rock. Some claim he's the best when law is the test, but the lawyers who want more oral argument think it's a crock. Must be nimble, must be quick. Award joint custody, lickety split. 
peas parched hot, peas parched cold. Sanchez has been around so long, her bench is growing mold. Little Judge Steele tries to make it real, but plainly anyone can see. While she quotes the books and recognizes crooks, she still marries millionaires on TV. Hey diddle diddle, pick up your fiddle. Judge Ritchie is making a ruling. He considers the law, which is not a flaw. In the ratings, he leaves other judges drooling. Miley, Miley, nice and smiley, how did you earn the bench? With glamour shots and photo ops, while Gaston was chasing a winch. Judge Brown had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow. But her lamb got on her recusal list, like almost every other attorney we know. Judge Palmers and Judge Luke went up the hill to seek election to Department E. Luke fell asleep on the bench when Pomeranz, that mensch, stole his gavel quite easily. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for Judge Elliot's eyes, who thinks the bench and peace talk are the same. Judge boy, Judge boy, pudding, pudding and pie. You're, you're fair, fair and honest, honest. We, we don't, don't know why. why. You do you your best, you're, you're always right. right. Now, now we're sucking, sucking up, so we'll, we'll say, say goodnight. goodnight.